Welcome back, Am Fishers. I'm Bill Jodopoulos, the host of the Am Fish Fishing Vlog Series. Doing a quick little video on a new bait that's on the market. Uh, pretty much everyone out there has heard about it. It's been publicized uh, very well by Live Target, and it is the Live Target Sunfish. Um, let me reposition myself a little bit here on this windy day so I can actually not be completely shadowed out. Um, but for those of you who may not know what the Life Target Sunfish is, here it is. It's just another version of a topwater bait. Uh, you've got your double uh, hooks like you would see on a frog, um, but it's a bait fish. It's actually, let me just readjust one more time uh, and get back to this video. Um, it basically mimics a injured fish. There's the weight on the bottom, so again, it's positioned just like your frog would be. There's the tail, it's very lifelike, very, very pliable. Uh, you know, very soft, the hooks get exposed. Uh, the hooks aren't going to be as 100% weedless as they would be on, normally on a frog. Uh, you can actually probably pen, bend them down slightly or down to the side slightly. Uh, but if you look at that, that's a very realistic looking little bait. And um, I actually caught a, a few fish on this. A few largies over there was flipping a bunch of pads and uh, cast this out and, you know, just worked it very slowly. Bang, hit it. Bass hit like this, both these hooks, top of the mouth, exactly how you want to hook them on top water. I'm just going to readjust one more time because it's really windy out here and I don't like when I get shadowed out in videos. Um, but again, the live target sunfish, guys. Uh, different bait, different top water bait. I actually uh, am in love with this bait. I'm not sponsored by anybody nor uh, has anybody approached me to, sponsor, uh, to ask for sponsorships or to give me anything. Um, I just talk about things that I know work. Uh, again, I'm a big striking fan, scum frog fan, uh, zoom, Berkeley baits, uh, everyone. I kind of use everyone. Hags, tornado baits. I use quite a bit of Quite a few different soft plastics and quite a few different baits, uh, whether they're spinner baits or crank baits. Uh, but live target stuff, like I said, I've tried. I've got a few of their crank baits that work really well. The bait balls, um, and I wanted something different. I'll, I'll be quite honest with you. Uh, I was shocked that no one had invented a bait like this many, many, many years ago. And I know this bait took about five to six years to develop, uh, testing with some of the pros before they hit the market. But it's it's an awesome little bait. Uh, I'm actually thankful a bait like this exists, and I'll tell you why. You can fish it in open water. You can fish it in weeds. You can fish it on uh, on very thick slop cover, uh, lily pads, reeds, you name it. But you can also fish it in open water, and that's the beauty of this little thing. It's got a little different action. Uh, I'll just mimic it. Say this, this bottom end here is on the water, and the water is towards me. Once you twitch it, it actually does a turn, and it'll do another turn, and it'll do another turn. And it almost kind of goes that 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock action, um, it can almost actually almost turn all the way around depending on how you work it, um, but it's a great versatile little bait. Again, it's uh, something different uh, for that top water bite. It's a different top water bite. It is in a hollow body. It will take on a little bit of water, uh, but I'll be honest with you, out of all the frogs I have that take on water, they eventually start to sink. Uh, I don't know how this is made in, in this way, but it may take on a little bit of water uh, and I've actually squeezed out, you know, again, I've done the full squeeze and squeezed out uh, a couple of streams of water, but it doesn't sink. It doesn't even remotely get an opportunity to sink and it may have something to do with the design of the body. As you can see, it's kind of arced like a, like a little boat would be or a canoe, uh, but this is a great little bait. Um, I wanted to actually give it a good try before I started doing uh, a video on it, you know, understanding how it moves, how it works, uh, how fish get hooked on it. Um, but spectacular little bait. I've got a few different colors of this. I know it's available probably in five or six different colors. Um, whether it's a sunfish, the baby bluegill, whatever it is. Uh, guys, it is a great little bait. Uh, honestly, I think it's a fantastic little bait for the money. If you want that different look, that different action for that top water bite, and something you can actually work away from a normal top water area, which would be all that slop and all that grass and thick grass and weeds and stuff like that. Uh, I'm still giving it a go. I'm hitting out here to a nice little spot in open water uh, around a huge rock shoal. Uh, it's getting close to probably uh, six o'clock in the afternoon here, so it's a good time to try and do that. But again, this just mimics uh, forage, a uh, bait fish that's in trouble, a bait fish that's struggling. We've all seen that at some point. Just think back to those days where you've been on the lake 
and you sat there and you saw that little fish fluttering across and stopping and fluttering across and stopping. Uh, this actually doesn't need a lot of action and I think and I've talked about that before. We tend to give a lot of our baits, uh, especially topwater baits, far too much action sometimes. Uh, cast it out, let it sit for a couple of seconds, you know, vary it sometimes 20 seconds, sometimes 10 seconds. Uh, a lot of the time you might even get a fish just by letting it sit. As odd as that sounds and as simple as that sounds, casting a bait out and letting it just sit there and turning away, having a bite of your sandwich, maybe uh, replying to a couple of text messages uh, that you didn't get to all day, something like that. But you turn and you'll hear that splash and I'm telling you sometimes those fish will just hit it as it's sitting there. They zone in on it, they see it, they have a lot of time to see it, it's in the strike zone and bang they hit it and that's a great little thing about this bait. When it does this action, it actually stays in that in that strike zone. Uh, normally, if you pull something forward, you're pulling it away from the strike zone. But because you can pull this, and it'll actually turn and turn this way and turn that way, it's almost kind of the same thing as a zero spoon when you do the walk the dog action. It's keeping it in that strike area with the following fish a lot longer. You're not pulling it five, six inches away from that strike area. It's actually keeping it there. But again, guys, like I said, a superior little bait. I'm actually really excited that I have a few of these. Uh, and again, very soft. Hook sets are pretty good. Uh, fish get nailed on it pretty uh, pretty quick too. I guess it's uh, it's got to have a lot to do with the, the narrow little tail. So once their mouth comes up here, I mean, they don't have any choice besides to take those two hooks and get uh, jammed on it. But a great little bait, awesome little bait uh, to give a try to. Um, again, I'm not sponsored by anybody. Uh, no one's you know paying me to do any of these videos. I just uh, like shooting videos on products that work for me and that uh, I find very interesting. And again, this is a very, very interesting bait to me um, because dying fish and dying bait fish are all over the place at sometimes in the summer whether it's small fry uh, you know they're getting chased up to on top of the lily pads by a predator fish they jump up they get stuck and they're flopping around uh, a bird may drop one uh, as it's picked it up out of the water and the fish react to that stuff so it's again it's a versatile versatile bait um, I'd highly recommend for anybody who's into that top water fishing stuff give it a try it's uh, again great little bait for me um, and uh, not much else I can talk about it. Like I said, it's got uh, a very realistic look. Uh, again, hollow body, great hookup, great hooks on it. I uh, just hooked myself right there. Uh, so the hooks are really good and the weight on the bottom and it just sits like that on top of the water. Um, but if you have any questions on this bait, uh, feel free to message me, whether it's on my Facebook page, uh, through YouTube, or you can email me as well. Um, but I'll leave it at that. Again, try it guys, check them out. Uh, you know. Um, maybe check with some friends who have them if they're struggling figuring out how to use them properly uh, I can answer those questions as well uh, so thanks for tuning in guys if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel I highly recommend you do so uh, you're missing out there's a lot of videos on there uh, that are a little bit different than what you'd normally find on YouTube uh, I'm not just the guy that shows videos of fish being caught I'm a, a guy that actually shows videos and talks about how I catch fish and what I catch them on and in certain conditions to catch them on so thanks for tuning in guys see you next time